everyone, Thelma here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. If you like today's video, please click that like button. It really helps my channel grow. Share the video with people you know so you can help me get my channel out there. And uh, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell and select all. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And just by doing, by watching my videos and clicking that like button and subscribing to my channel, uh, you'll be entered into the two giveaways that I have going on. And if you want to see what's all in them, just go to my channel and watch the two short videos that I have uh, showing each, everything that's in each of my uh, giveaways. And... Uh, once you've entered into the contest, leave me a comment. Let me know you entered. That way I'll have your name to add to the drawing box. Without doing that, I won't be able to add you. Okay, today what we're doing is a get ready with me video. And uh, I'm going to start off by showing you what the pre-stuff that I already did uh, after I took a shower and washed my face and cl uh, cleansed it. I used this cocoa and shea butter treatment mask. I left it on for 15 minutes. And uh, then once I took it off, it's still got all that gel. So I used this uh, Simply, uh, it's smooth and lift collagen cleansing cloth to barely wipe uh, all that extra stuff that stayed on from the um, the face mask off and um, then I use this derma seal um, let me put my glasses on that way I'll be able to read <laughs> it's derma seal um, glycolic acid toning solution now everything that I'm using came from the Dollar Tree um, and then I use the Smooth and Lift Collagen Skin Cream. It's the same as this. It's all uh, from the same Global Beauty Care. And it's a set of four. And then I used um, this Smooth and Lift Collagen Eye Cream. I put that on. And uh, last, I used this uh, a new Avon, but you can go uh, to any department store like Walmart, uh, sometimes at the Dollar Tree and uh, Family Dollar, and you can get this vitamin C gel face cream. It helps your uh, skin stay nice and gives it the vitamins it needs. And then... Um, after I took a shower and before I did the face mask and all that, I used this uh, this Smooth and Live Collagen Facial Cleanser. That's what I used to wash everything. And uh, that and then this helped get the extra makeup off that um, always seems to stay in after a shower. Okay, first, what I'm going to do is use, this came from the Dollar Tree. It's, it came in like a box, but it was hanging. It's a clear gel. It's tinted a little. I, I use that because I don't have a, um, a, you know how you get like your eye cream, um, eye primer? Well, I don't have any uh, lip primer, so I use that or I use Vaseline. So, and that seems to do the trick. And next, I'm going to put on this um, this eye cream. Now, this came from the Dollar Tree. All you need is just a little bit. And I would look, if you look at the Dollar Tree and don't find stuff, go to a uh, Family Dollar because, and find, because they merged with the Dollar Tree a while back. And... What you can't find at the Dollar Tree, sometimes they carry it for the same price at a family dollar. And while that's setting, um, I'm putting on the uh, LA Colors Face Primer. 
And again, you just need a little bit. It goes a long way, about that much. And I just dab it here and there. Make sure you wipe it everywhere. I even go down into my neck. And again, they sell all different kinds of um, primer and makeup and everything at the Dollar Tree at different times. But what you may see at one time, they might not get it in again. Um, so if you see it, grab it while you can. Now this did not come from um, the Dollar Tree, but I picked it up at uh, Family Dollar because I figured, and I was right, it was cheap. This was only like four or five dollars. And you don't need a lot. Just rub it all over and then I use my brush, my um, makeup blender, this. Make sure you dampen it. It's, it's small, but it gets real. And I do that after if I rub it in because I'm running out of that um, cover girl. Just dab it. Make sure it doesn't show any streaks and stuff. And then next is um, the um, let me let me get my glasses on. Well, where'd I put them? Oh, I'd lose my head sometimes if it wasn't connected. <laughs> they were sitting right where I put them. This is um, be pure glow. Um, it, that's the foundation let me find the real fast okay I couldn't find my uh, Be Pure concealer so I'm using uh, LA Colors and Beige and again it has a brush but I don't like using the brush And just put it around your um, eyes on the bottom. Now I also put some right here. I have a scar. I put some down here on my chin. on each side of my nose. It just helps define the, the, it helps kind of make the scar small, appear smaller and uh, than it is, it doesn't stand out as much. And uh, along the nose and everywhere, it just helps uh, define it. It just, Barely dab it in. And I use the, I flip it around and use the pointy end too to make sure I get, get it all up in there under the eye. Okay, next, uh, let that dry some. And I'm using CoverGirl powder. Now I use that to, to set the foundation in so it doesn't feel, feel as sticky and it doesn't uh, move around a lot. And um, then I'll set it at the end. And you don't need a lot. And I used a big brush. I call it my big fluffy brush. Just tap it and just go all over. And tap it each time you dip your brush in. That way you won't ha you'll have less foliage.
and you don't use a lot at all, just uh, enough to slowly, brush, uh, lightly brush it on, get it on your clothes. I just do that. Sometimes I have to change my shirt altogether. It just depends. Okay, next is um, blush. And I'm using LA Colors Vibin. That's the shade. And I'm using this uh, Wet n Wild brush set that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm using this mirror over here, but I'm gonna stay where you can see me and see how I'm applying it. I go back into the hairline and, and up around the end of the eyes right here to give it that blush look like where the sun kisses your uh, face when you're out in it right through here and right here. But I don't put the blush up there. I put the um, um, contour. I'm not putting contour on my cheeks this time because this blush, I like the way it makes it look. Okay, and the contour I'm going to use is this one right here. It's it's the dark kind. It's um, L.A. Colors. Let's see. There you go. And I just put it up here. And I do it to define the, my jaw, where I've got that double chin. And I just put lines there, there, and two inside. And I'm going to go ahead and do my nose. But I don't like this blush with contour. Um, that's because I added, I put it on before, and it just didn't um, do well with me. I'm just going to use this brush here, or is it this one? I'm going to use this brush, and uh, just brush that in real good. That way you don't see the lines, but it defines and shows that, that look, a little bit of a tint color to it, uh, to give it that like your sun, your face has been kind of touched by the sun just a little bit. And it defines the shape of the nose right there. And the same here, it helps define your jaw lining. And see how my neck is? where I've lost some weight and I had that gobble gobble chin I call it double chin is what it's called um, but this helps define it and then I'm going to go all over let me find it here I'm going to go back over a little bit with this, um, let me put my glasses on so I can make sure I read this to you the right way. It's Rosa We is the brand, and it's Infallible Never Fail, Never Fail Powder, and it holds up to six hours, and it's smooths, blend, and comfort, and it has SPF of 20 in it. It's this. And I just go ahead and put that down here. To give it just some toning. And kinda it kinda makes I think the chin not to appear as double as it is. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> Okay, and next I'm going to um, do the, uh, this is, 
Broadway eyebrow kit and that's what it is I've got some of the brown and the white here but here's the little brush I brushed my brows I finally got found my uh, razors and I did my eyebrows a little bit I didn't trust myself doing too much because it's been so long I'm going to use the one in the middle the brown and I just brush it in just follow the shape of your eyebrows and see how it makes them look fuller just a little bit more right there and wipe some off see how that makes that look fuller and more has more of a shape to it okay and the next is the I'm stuck between do I want to use these LA colors it's two shades or the um, Malibu Eye Shadow Palette. Let me open it up. That's four shades. But you don't have to use them all. Okay, I'm going to use the, um, the Malibu. And I'm going to use this brush. It's from uh, um, Wet n Wild. And I'm going to use the top left hand corner. And I'm going to go over my whole eyelid. With it to help give it some base. Give it something to hold on to the eyeshadow. And then the bottom um, right corner, and I just go from here all the way out, and I do the same on the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to use the smaller brush, and I'm going to use this um, this shade over here to the right, up on top, and put it in the corner, and work my way over. Okay, and next is the um, Iona Black Eyeliner, and it's like a gel. And all I do is just go out, follow the line of your, your eye. Give it a little bitty wing. Do the bottom. And then I do the same for this one. I'm just double checking, making sure I have them even. Okay, and next is the mascara. It's the uh, Malibu, it's uh, LA Colors. Get that off the end of it. it was, there was a bunch of clump right there at the end.
and by putting two layer two coats on it, it makes your eyelashes appear longer, kind of like your um wearing eyelashes and if you get a little bit at the bottom just hurry up and wipe it off because it will it will come off without smearing see how there's none there I just used a wet wipe that I used uh, earlier when I was picking the shades and I just got it all in here. I missed the hoe. <laughs> I mean, that's real good wet and uh, but these wet wipes, the uh, kind of showed you that I used these help really get makeup off. I had uh, swatches of um, mascara, no, eyeliner and some lipstick here. I was testing to see which color I wanted and um, it came right off just by wiping it just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to use this uh, LA Colors Lip Liner. Let me see if I can find the, the shade for you. Let's see. Forever Red, but it's the pencil. I don't really like them like this. I like the, the gel, the kind you twist up, but sometimes you can go out of your comfort zone and find something that you actually like. Because that's the best way to tell, really, is if you buy it and try it. I mean, yeah, it's only a couple bucks, or if you get it at the Dollar Tree, $1.25. But I go ahead and I line. Now, I already put the uh, lip, lip gloss on that I showed you earlier. So my lips are primed. And then I've got these uh, Wet n' Wild lipsticks. Let me see which shade. There's this one. And then that one, I think I'm going to use the, the one in the black. Or I might go ahead, let me check one more. This one is uh, came from um, the Dollar Tree, where the other one, this one, Wet n' Wild, and you can tell it's from the lip on it came from um, Family Dollar. But again, like I said, they're merged with the Dollar Tree, so. And it was only a couple bucks, like three, three, uh, 89 or three ninety eight. Not, not bad at all. Okay, next I have LA Color Setting Powder. I'm going to use this brush. Let me wipe it off first. And it's, it's this. You can tell I use it a lot. So just barely. A little goes a long way with this. Okay, and that is it with today's Get Ready With Me. I hope you um, enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow. Um, share the video to help me get my videos out there. And don't forget to sub subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell and select all so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And you'll be entered into the two giveaways that I have. Now, I'll put more about it in the description box for you. And um, I've never done this before, but I'm going to go through everything that I've applied, even the, um, 
the uh, stuff that I used before, like the uh, the face mask and everything, and put it all in the description. That way you know the names and the and the the brands and the shades of everything. All right, hugs and kisses from Kentucky. Until next time, bye.